Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about how an inmate can get medication inside of the Maricopa County Jail System. Now, I have to warn you, medications from home or purchased outside of the jail will not be accepted by the jail. They won't take them. The inmate has to inform the jail at intake of their medical problems and or later on if they develop them and go through the infirmary at the jail and then the jail will order up the medications through the pharmacy at the jail. Now they need to tell them the type of medication, the dose, and what it's for. Now once the um, pharmacy gets the medications for the inmate, they'll distribute them. This is very important if they have diabetes, heart problems, blood pressure problems. Now, beware. If an inmate is doing what's called tent city, or where they have work release or work furlough, they cannot show up with medications in their pocket. That's called promoting prison contraband, and that's a felony. They can't just sneak a few pills in. If you go to visit the inmate, and you try to hand them pills, if it's a face-to-face -face visit, you're going to be arrested. So don't do that. Don't bring medication to the lawyer and say, hey, lawyer, can you give it to him when you see him in court? Don't do that. Don't try and pass anything to the inmate at court. They have to go through the jail. They have to put in what's called a tank order and go directly through the jail. Now, if you have any questions, call the SIMS line. That's Sheriff's Information Management System at 602-876-0322. Or you can call the individual jails where your loved one is housed. We have all that on our website, the individual phone numbers at dmcantor.com. Now, if your loved one is in the jail but they haven't been convicted yet and they're waiting uh, their case to finalization. That's called the pretrial phase. Give us a call at 602-307-0808 or go to dmcantor.com, fill out a contact us form and we will meet with you. It's a free initial consultation, doesn't cost you anything, it takes about 30 minutes of your time and we'll sit down in the privacy of our office and go over the case from top to bottom. If they've already pled guilty and haven't been sentenced, give us a call. Perhaps we can get uh, do the sentencing and get the lowest amount on the range. And if they've already been pled and convicted, give us a call. We can file appeals, post-conviction relief petitions, or sentence modifications where perhaps we can get the sentence reduced or the whole case thrown out. Uh, we wish you well. We wish your loved one well in the jail with their medications. I hope this has been informative, but if you'd like to sit down and talk to us further, you know how to contact us. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.